Hey, welcome back. <laughs> oh, why are there balloons? <laughs> I don't know why there was balloons. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, so I just did a collective reading. Um, hi, welcome everyone. So I just did a collective reading for all zodiac signs. It's pretty funny at some points. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. Hi everyone, good morning. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick reading right now for Sagittarius, okay? Ooh, how's everybody doing today? Welcome everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick reading for Sagittarius, do a quick check-in, then I'm gonna do a reading for Scorpio and then a reading for Cancer. Because I did a reading for Scorpio, but the end of it like cut out in a really weird way. It was weird. So I'm going to hit the water signs today and then I'll move on and start doing other signs another day. Oh, good. It's your day off. Ooh, I'll talk to you later then. <laughs> I have some really beautiful pictures to post later too. I just got to go through and edit some of them, decide which ones I want to use. It's a lot of work, guys. <laughs> All right, so Sagittarius or whoever's watching this reading, uh, what message for you today? But Sagittarius vibes. Let's get those fun, warrior, fiery Sagittarius vibes for this reading. Hey, everyone, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Aw, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's up for this reading. Sagittarius vibes, let's go. Oh, that was a lot. I'm going to take all of these. Said so take all of them. Damn. All right. I'm trying to do a quick reading here, Sagittarius. Let's see. Creation. Damn, Sagittarius. Fire sign. What are you doing? Whoever's watching this reading. Creation. Amon Ra. You are a creator. You're creating something. What you working on? Damn. Beautiful. Look at all these colors, all these plants, all these flowers. Just gorgeous. Creation. Number two is the master builder number two and about divine timing. Number two is also about happy, harmonious relationships with people. So I feel like you're building not only like not only creating, especially how big this is. Look how big this is. Just keeps building, 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 building. <laughs> So you're creating and building at this time. That's beautiful. Change. Kepri. Oh, with this beetle too, the scarab beetle. That's very, very uh, strong symbolism. That's beautiful. Oh, very cool symbolism. Faith and wisdom. Yep, that's how you're growing it. <laughs> you have faith, you're being positive, and you have wisdom. You have the wisdom to do it. Everything you've learned so far, you're applying. Order and peace, yes. You, wow, look at this. You are having order and peace in your time, uh, in your life right now at this time. I, I feels like almost like you're demanding it, like that's gonna help you. Order and peace at this time is really helping you. Exploration, that's right. You wanna explore, you are exploring. Ooh, that's how you create, right? You gotta explore. Adventure. You're expanding your mind too. And with this crane, it's like, so with the snake, there's abundance. With this crane, there's easy transition from one thing to the next. For these changes, righteousness. Oh, be careful of righteousness. You are righteous enough for this, though. Whatever you're creating, whatever you're building. Yep. Darkness. You're coming out of darkness. It was in the reverse. Good job. You are coming out of this darkness. It was like this. So, wow. You're coming out of this darkness. How beautiful. Wow. I'm at devastation. Wow. Hope. Something devastated you. Aw, something devastated you, put you in this darkness. Oh. 
But you're coming out of that. You have hope now. You're healing. You have hope. That's beautiful. You have hope again. So you have stability and equilibrium. Yes, you're stable at this time. Good. You're emotionally balanced. You're, uh, I feel like you're physically balanced. Uh, mind, body, spirit. I feel like your money's balanced. Good job. Hell yeah, Sagittarius. That was a lot of oracle cards by the Egyptian gods. They really got your back at this time. There's some big change here with all those cards going on. There's a big change in you. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're using the um, Del Toro deck, Tarot deck, Today Divination deck. Um, I did already um, shuffle the cards, guys, clean the energy of the cards, and I have them all upright again. Okay, have them all upright again. What's that one? What's that one? Oh yeah, King of Cups. Is there, key, is there a positive King of Cups in your life, Sagittarius? I was so drawn to that. I was like, what is that? What is that one? <laughs> Celebrations with friends and family. Three of Cups on the bottom. Oh, so you have a really happy time right now with friends and family. Um, also coming up in your future, you're going to celebrate with friends and family. Maybe an event coming up. How fun. And that King of Cups, you're so loved. And you're so loving. There's definitely, um, a, a, it's like there's like this stable, loving stability in your home. Oh, I love it. Sagittarius, that's amazing. Good. Mm-hmm. What else for Sagittarius? God, the collective reading was kind of rough. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. Let's get seven cards for Sagittarius. Seven cards. About seven cards for Sagittarius, please. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders. I appreciate you in this reading today. Truth from the light. All right. What did you want to tell Sagittarius today? God, they told you a lot in the Egyptian... Gods and Goddesses card. What did you want to tell Sagittarius today? All right, here we go. Sagittarius vibes, thank you so much. Sagittarius. cards are here let's see what's up yeah spirit there's five cards here spirit we wanted to leave a couple maybe okay So there's someone, just one moment guys. Mm. Wow, Sagittarius. So this is the Page of Cups in reverse. You're keeping your creative inspirations a secret. You feel called to do this work, but you are worried about whether is it realistic or not. Well, who cares? Go for it. What have you got to lose? Sagittarius, this is so fucking special. Wow. So you have all these inspired ideas right now. No wonder it came out as creation. First card out, Sagittarius. You're building this. Like maybe this is all your different ideas. You will be successful, they're telling you. These cards will make more sense. 
creation is bringing you change. Have wisdom, have faith. There's order and peace here. Yeah, you're keeping your, you have, you are so inspired creatively right now. And you're keeping those ideas a secret. Don't be afraid. Go for it. Spirit's saying, go for it. They got you. Okay. They also understand this five of swords here is they understand that you are in some sort of battle or you might have been quarreling with someone about something. They didn't have to be that, guys. Could be an inner battle with yourself. Go for it. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what other people say? Go for it. Who cares about what you say about it? You guys, sometimes, right, we're our own worst critics. We hold ourselves back because we're like, oh, it's not good enough. Or we think that it's not perfect. Go for it. Maybe this is an inner battle, okay, that you're dealing with. That's over now. Sagittarius. That battle, that quarrel, it's over now. It's the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is that situation is over now and things are going to get better. I just feel like, Sagittarius, you've been through such a hard time. I feel like you've battled people. You've battled things. You've battled oppression. I feel like you've battled so much. That's ending now. The battles are ending. I guess I'm seeing this white sandy beach. I'm seeing doves. I'm seeing happiness like peace and order. <laughs> Spirit's reminding me that the beach isn't always peaceful. So keep it realistic. Keep it realistic. Don't run away with your fantasies. But damn, you have been through such a battle. Battling yourself. Battling others. Battling life. That's ending now. That's ending now. Things are getting better. Things are getting easy. They're just spirits saying the battle's over. They don't want you to keep everything secret anymore. And they want you to show your ideas. They say, go for it. Go for it. They want you. And, and guys, this means show your ideas to sell it. Uh, show your ideas to make profit from it. However that means to you. This doesn't mean just share your ideas and say, hey, I got this great idea. Here you go. No. The spirit's just saying, let's get this done. Your fears are unwarranted. And they're saying you've been through such a battle. They understand this. They recognize it. They're saying, go for it now, though. Go. Yeah, what is this? Why is that? Is that what's stopping you? What is this? Yeah, okay. So you are feeling confident. You're feeling self-assured and successful. You are proud of your achievements, okay? This is six of wands, upright. You're ready to shout them from the rooftops. The people around you recognize your success and cheer you on. You're ready. You may not. Yeah, you're ready. Wow. You're ready. You're feeling confident. You're feeling self-assured. Good job. Good job. It's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so you're connecting with your inner strength right now. This is what spirit wants you to do. Connect more with your inner strength and willpower to move forward. And you are. Okay. 
Your motivation comes from within. Not from external sources. I am so proud of you right now. I am so proud of you, Sagittarius. Your inner strength comes from you, not from external sources. Spirit's reminding you of this. Spirit's also proud of you that you recognize this. Wow. <laughs> I never expect to cry, guys, so I don't have like... I usually don't have, I used to at my table, but I don't have like a handkerchief or tissues right here. I don't expect to cry. <laughs> that feeling was so strong of like relief. Like Sagittarius, I feel like you're relieved. Like even you see the end of the battle. It's beautiful. You cannot control everything. Sometimes it's best to just loosen your grip, right? Go with the flow. Um, you can control some things that's needed, but wow. So you're having the inner strength and willpower to move forward. Your motivation comes from within, not from external sources. Wow, wow, wow. What a beautiful reading. Sagittarius, okay. What other two to three cards, spirit, whatever? Oh, I want to say one last pull. Okay, let's do that. So another pull, spirit. This is a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I'm so proud of you. Creation. All right, what else did you want to tell Sagittarius today? One last pull. Thank you, spirit guide. Thank you, ancestors. Damn. So proud of you. You're being mysterious, Sagittarius. That's good. Yeah, you have so many inspirations. You're just keeping it all to yourself, though. Keeping it all to yourself. Yes, you are. Good job. Sagittarius, this is the last pull for Sagittarius. Do you want to tell Sagittarius? There's an ace of swords here, Sagittarius. This is the truth. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Damn. I had a lot more to say. <laughs> it's on the bottom here. The hair of font. Wow. Very special spiritually. You are. Wow, Sagittarius, okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, the mysterious card, Sagittarius. I flipped it over. It's the Ace of Wands. New beginning. Ah, it's beautiful. Blessings on your new beginning. There's a giant wand here. <laughs> you're very passionate about what you're doing. You're creating. Of course you're happy. Three of Wands, you're watching your ships come in. You're going to watch your ships come in. Fuck yeah. Meaning you have done a lot of work. You've done a lot of work. Maybe people, other people, Sagittarius, in the past didn't see how much work you were doing. But you're a hard worker. You did a lot of work. For ships to come in, there needs to be a lot of work done first. Ships got to be sent out first, right? Oh, cool. You're balanced at this time. You're passionate about things, but you're not overly passionate or obsessed about immature things. Good job. You're very balanced at this time. This beautiful balance, Libra, Philanthropy, justice energy, your pentacles are up and coming. You have you're so loved. It's a card of love. There's blessings on your love. You're so truthful. You're real. Beautiful. Six of Cups. So there's love. Your love from people from your past, from childhood. Um, I feel like too with the Six of Cups upright, it's like You've healed a lot of wounds from your childhood. That's so beautiful. 
because you've been truthful with yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Jesus Christ, there's some Queen of Swords that's reverse Queen of Swords. Tried to attack your money. Also, damn. Let me read something real quick. Wow, the book went right to it. Holy shit. This is like spirit new. Yeah, so you have love. You are so loved. This is the truth. People love you. They adore you. They see you. People from the past, even your childhood, they love you. Um, you also, this Six of Cups, you have really healed. You've really helped and healed things from your past, from your childhood. You're still working on things from your childhood. Um, so there's a Three of Swords here, okay? So you were hurt, very hurt. Listen to what it says here. You are feeling hurt and disappointed taking others' negative words to heart. You feel loss, you feel heartbreak, grief, sorrow, this will pass. Work on releasing the pain and forgiving those who have hurt you. All right, see, and then this is what's holding up your star. You're holding on to the pain of the past. This is from the past. They love you. You are loved, okay? Someone hurt you very badly. You're holding on to that pain, um, especially with the star card in reverse. So you holding on to that pain, uh, whether it's from your childhood, whether it's from someone in the past, okay? That's still hurting you. You have to move forward. You have to move on. Okay. That's holding up your will of fortune. So it's holding up your star, your shine. That's holding up your will of fortune. Um, there is a queen of swords here. So not forgiving the past will make you bitter. Will also attract bitter people. Guys, I'm also seeing now there might be someone from your past from childhood that is still hurting. They're not shining. Their will of fortune's not going anywhere. Therefore, they're petty and angry at you. Yeah. Which brings down the money. There's a reverse queen of swords here, a reverse air sign. There's also a reverse king of wands. So, but what I feel like, Sagittarius, I really feel like, okay, I'm really getting there's an air energy that hurts you or a fire sign that hurts you, okay? I'm getting air and fire. There's air and fire here that may have hurt you. Let that go. Let it go. You have to learn how to heal from. Don't take everything everyone says to heart. Oh, Sagittarius, I know you're very intuitive. I know you're very sensitive, especially if you're an empath, especially if you are a true oracle like me, okay? If you're on the spectrum, if you're autistic, okay? Some people are, that are autistic, guys, like in certain... Uh, uh, autism they don't have a lot of the feelings and emotions for people and like it seems like in a certain way but that's not always true okay they may miss social cues they're still human they still have feelings but I feel like you are either a star seed or a true healer that is very very sensitive you're very sensitive to what people say you have to let that go. 
You have to be tougher. You're really taking everything everyone says to heart. When people attack you or when people say negative things about you or about your body or about your art or about your work, you're taking it too personal. That is holding you back from healing. That is holding your will from turning. It's letting in other negative energies. It's gonna hold up your money. It will hold up your creativity. Spirit recognizes that you've been hurt. It's by some sort of reverse queen of swords and a reverse king of wands. Look, I don't know who these stupid motherfucks are that hurt you, Sagittarius. Let it go. They don't matter. Spirit's literally telling you. They don't matter. You matter. What you think about you matters. Man, so you have this beautiful new beginning. You're so loved. And that's the truth. That's the truth, Sagittarius. All right, I'm going to get an angel card on this. Um... You got this, Sagittarius. Yeah. So the Del Toro deck is no joke, by the way, guys. <laughs> the Del Toro deck, like, cuts through the bullshit. It's like, I feel like in a way it's a little bit of shadow work. Like, Del Toro deck will tell you what the fuck is up. Del Toro deck will tell you the darkness, man. The Del Toro deck will tell you the shadow side of shit. Tell you the truth. I won't tell you just the fucking la la lily of shit. All right, angel card on this. You got this, Sagittarius. Dude, you have so many creative ideas. Create, let's go. All right, angel card for Sagittarius for this reading. Aw, angel of fertility. Watch out, wrap it up if you don't want a baby. <laughs> there might be a new baby coming into your life for real. Does that have to be your baby? Could be a baby by you. Uh, your baby could be uh, just a new baby coming in the family. This can also mean pets too, guys. Uh, fertility also, there's going to be a lot of abundance for you and maybe in a relationship you're in or lovers, okay? Uh, chakra balancing angel. They're, they're recognizing your little off balance in your chakras. They want you to meditate more. They want you to go to nature. They want you to balance those chakras. However, yep, here's the fucking nature. Okay, so balance those chakras, whether it's music, sports, art, whatever helps you balance those chakras. Everyone's different. What other angel card? Oh my God, angel of divine timing. Something big is coming. Divine timing, wait for it. And you are earth angel, you are being patient. Good job. All right, well, that's the read. So something big is coming up. So believe in yourself, stay balanced, let things go from the past. If something hurts you, heal it. Let's heal it, let's let it go, create. Maybe you can let it go through creating. Art therapy. Whatever form of art you choose, whatever form of art you enjoy, create Sagittarius. All right, I love you. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Create, create, create. Love you.